A lot of you guys want a house tour, so here it is. Here is the house. We'll go inside in a second. I got my long johns on. You got the shirt on. I just fixed these too. New button. I can sew. He's so proud. He can sew a button. <laughs> Not everyone can do that though. <laughs> Ready? Yep. This house was built in 1897 for a brewmaster. And all of his workers, which were originally, I think, from Austria and Germany, helped build the house. And actually, right next door where there's that empty lot to the trees, there used to be a big brewery right next door. And the brewery belonged to Mr. Larkin. We can show you a photo of what it looked like. Mr. Lairkind, his second wife, and their one son together. The house in 1898. And that's the brewery, the other end of the brewery, the day that Prohibition ended. Everyone has a beer. Where do we go next? Uh, into the first parlor. So none of the furnishings are original to the house. This Victorian home is unusual, I think, in that the windows are humongous. It is just all windows and doors. I don't know what holds the place up. There's very few walls, comparatively. Lots of windows. But it's like, makes it wonderful because it's such a light, light home. Something that I'm told is kind of unusual. There's no doors between the two parlors because it was typical in that day for after a meal, the women to retire to one parlor and the men to retire to the other parlor to smoke their cigars. And Mr. Learkind smoked cigars, by the way. There's no door between this, so I think so, they were an uh, unusual household. They didn't do the separation, I don't think. Awesome. They must not have. He was a progressive guy. He was a member of the Free Thinker Society. And I can play this for you. This is the same age as the house. It's an 1897 Regina Upright. It's the largest music box ever made. We have 12 different tunes. Everywhere there's a hole on the front of the disc, the metal was punched through, curled around, makes a little nub, so the back is really rough. Those little nubs catch on the points of the star wheels, turning them, and that makes the tones, so all the tones come from these two combs. There's no hidden chimes or bells behind the panel. That's what makes this a true music box. There were only 300 of these ever produced this size, the seven foot version. And we're told there's maybe 25 of them that still operate. So we'll go into the second parlor. This Victorian is unusual for the day because it was built with no fireplaces. The Learkind family not only owned a brewery, but they owned their own coal company and an ice company. So there were two coal burning parlor stoves in each corner, one where the music box is and one where the current fireplace is. But this was never a fireplace until the 80s. And then we added the fireplace, the gas log insert in 2010. So for seven years now, we've had a gas fireplace here. And so this is where we've served pretty amazing breakfast for 21 years. And I think we're gonna start changing that and it's just gonna go to pretty amazing muffins from now on. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna be the muffin man. Well, there's a bakery down the street that's amazing. Yeah. Uh, an amazing bakery. There's another coffee roaster and shop. There's places to grab breakfast and that there's way a crepe people can stand. do it on their own. There's an amazing crepe stand down the street. As oh well. yeah, the crepe stand, the little crepe truck. So wow. good. Very lived in here. This was the original kitchen, but it has not been a kitchen. Well, I don't know how long. Years and years ago, a kitchen was moved into what was originally the sewing room. So this was originally the sewing room and there were just long windows, but alterations to the home, different owners, and they put in a refrigerator where a stairwell used to split and come down into it. And so it's a modern kitchen now, galley style kitchen. I wish it were bigger because I'm not very good at picking up after myself when I'm cooking. He's no, better. you're not. 
Oh, there's the crazy high tank toilet. Oh yeah, show them. There's the original crapper to the house. It was moved down here from upstairs. There was only one bath, but it still does the old flush on the chain. So the tank's up there. I keep wanting to change this because this uses a lot more water than a modern toilet. Yeah. But it's historic. Now let's backtrack to the stairs. I'm going too fast. Man, it's so bright and beautiful out. Yep. It is pretty. I like the look of the snow. I like heat. <laughs> Up the stairwell. It has the traditional Persian flaw. All the spindles are turned one way, except one is upside down. Oh, they're the rounded? Are round the rounded at the bottom? And then this one's not? And this one is turned around so that the rounded one is up at the top. Ah, I see. And you want to go into all the different rooms? Yeah, just a brief. The brief. largest one first, which is a sitting room and the bedroom that belonged to Mr. Lairkind. And? And it has a bath that has been added, but you can come on in here. And so you can sit here in the window and look out at his little kingdom, his brewery. Once again, the brewery was just out that way, the empty lot. And this room has really good views of the mountain. You can pick up that empty lot, by the way, from someone else for only 3.5 million at the moment. <laughs> and here's the masterpiece. This is the beauty. So this was Mr. Lair Kind's original bedroom. There wasn't a closet here. Owners prior to us added that and used historic woodwork. We never saw what the house was furnished with. And back in that day, with the shutter speed having to be so much longer, they didn't take interior photos unless you saw those in the studio where they were just sitting there. Standing still? Not blinking, yeah. Otherwise, everything would be blurred. Did you want to see the bathroom or not? Yeah, we could do a quick bathroom. This is a modern bathroom that was put in in the 70s. One of these days we'll do 70. 70 yet. <laughs> so this is the nursery, the original nursery, and their one son in that other photo was born in this room in 1900, and here's a picture of him. I don't know how old he is there. I didn't even know that was a picture of him. That's Herman Learkind. And this is the little rocking porch off the nursery. And actually, this is where we did the snow angel, like filming. We set up a camera right down there and we made snow angels. Rainbow snow angels, that was fun, wasn't it? That was cold. That was cold. That was cold. We gotta do that again. And then you come back through around to the back hall and this was going in to Mrs. Lairkind's bedroom. Her bedroom was the only one with a stained glass window and it sat over a lady's desk. This is my favorite room. This one often books the first of all the rooms and it uses the original bath. It's the only room that the bath is not, what, en suite? It's right next door to it. But everyone loves that room in this bath. And it is a private bathroom to that room though. Yeah. Because it's got the original sink, which is really, really, really awesome. And the original tub, which was a special order. And this, house was one of the few homes in Bozeman in 1897 that had indoor plumbing and this was a huge bathroom it was twice this big we split it to get two bathrooms but that's the original tub this is a love tub this is a love tub right here's a love tub down the back stairwell and then the last bedroom on the second floor we call the Leopold after Leopold, Aldo Leopold, who wrote Sound County Almanac. He named all the rooms after naturalists. You okay? Yeah. 
We, well. <laughs> we wrote all, we named all the rooms after naturalists because we had worked as naturalists in Yellowstone and me back in Alabama. Not me, his not, uh, former partner. My, my business partner. So my business partner and I used antique tubs from other old homes, antique sink. Our living quarters are not fixed up Victorian like down here. In fact, we used to call it the dungeon, even though it was on the third floor. Until last year, we got to refinish the floors. We ripped out the dark carpet. It was awful, wasn't it? Yeah, but we remodeled. We put like a bunch of plaster on the walls, and I had so much fun. Yeah, he, a lot of he learned to plaster. I'm so good at it. He plastered the walls. I'm good at mudding. You're good at mudding. Yeah, you should be in a mud wrestling contest because you're good at mudding. Mm -hmm. And basically, the staircase is so narrow, it's hard to get furniture up here. So we have futons. But I, I love it now. Now it's like beautiful up here. It has skylights. Originally, when we bought the place, it did not have skylights, so it was really dark. And it had brown, dark brown paneled walls everywhere that someone had put up. So we either ripped those panels out and replastered or paint it over the panel. Mm -hmm. We kind of have two parlors up here too, don't we? We have a lot of space. We want something smaller, don't we? Yeah, we need less to clean. So futons because you can't get couches up here. 70s kitchen, yeah. typical 70s floor, 70s orange countertop. We took out the 70s striped lemon orange lime wallpaper. And I did a lot of work on these ceilings. You had to lift them back up with plaster anchors. You did a good job. Now I guess a little bit of the bedroom. The bedroom, you'll see that we are not the cleanest dudes. Like a bunch of hats and all this. And then, of course, our bed. Lots of clothes. And a lot of covers. Up. You gotta base, it's cold here. You need a lot of covers here. And here is the bathroom. <laughs> Very simple. Ah, towels. Studio that I have, my guitar and stuff, and Get out of there. piano, and it's, it's pretty cool. That's a tour of just the main house on the property where we have accommodations for three sets of guests, and then a little add on room. So, another tour will give you of what we call the garden house, which is an even older home that we moved to the property and has accommodations for six sets of guests and another apartment. Oh! Whoa, my hat fell off. Here, here. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! What are you doing? Dude! Make sure to subscribe to our channel. We want our subscribers to go up, 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 up. Why us? Hey, Chris. Love you a long time. time. Get over there and kiss that camera. Ah! Mm. Watch the feet! Watch the feet! You're gonna hurt yourself. Yeah, you're strong, but you're gonna hurt yourself. Don't say that. Ah! That's that bad juju. Bad juju? <laughs> I'm not gonna hurt myself. Not you're not gonna wood. hurt yourself. You're not gonna hurt yourself. You're not gonna hurt yourself. You're not gonna hurt. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. Ah! <laughs>